वेलकम टू ए एंड एम एजुकेशन कॉलेज ऑफ क्रिएटिविटी एंड टेक्नोलॉजी इन दिस सेशन वी विल लुक इन टू बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ एवरेज लेट्स बिगिन क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ डेटा एज वी नो डेटा कैन बी प्राइमरी एंड सेकेंडरी डेटा प्राइमरी डेटा इज अ फर्स्ट हैंड डेटा गैदर्ड बाई द रिसर्चर हिमसेल्फ For example survey group discussion questionnaire etc whereas the secondary data means the data collected by someone else earlier you just refer it and it is not collected by you for example government publications websites books journals etc now what is this classification of data after collecting the data it should be classified classification means grouping of related facts into classes for example population of the city can be grouped according to their sex age marital status etc here there is a definition professor secrist defines classification is a process of arranging data into sequences according to their common characteristics or separating them into different related parts here classification of data can be qualitative or quantitative if the data are classified on the basis of some attributes or qualities such as beauty literacy etc are the qualitative one whereas if the data is collected according to some characteristics which can be measured in numbers that is height weight marks income etc is a quantitative classifications in statistics we have quantitative classifications quantitative classifications are of two elements variable and frequency variable is one which varies from one unit to another example marks income etc whereas frequency means the number of times the event occurred in an experiment or study for example here weight is given this is nothing but the variable and number of students given is a frequency that is 4 6 10 15 8 and so on here the variable is expressed as x and the number of student which is frequency is expressed as f now the variables are classified into two first one is discrete variable and the second one is continuous variable a variable which has a specified value is a discrete variable here it is number of children and number of families given this is nothing but the variable and this is the frequency number of children this is 
0 1 2 3 this is a discrete variable as it has a specified value okay next is about the continuous variable continuous variable has a range here in a continuous variable there will be a range previously i had given the examples of weight and number of student that is nothing but the continuous variable here the marks given has a range that is from 0 to 10 10 to 20 etc it is nothing but the continuous variable this is the number of students that is frequency before doing any sums you should know few terms in continuous series okay it comes only in the continuous variables first one is class limit there are two limits that is lower limit and upper limit for example in a continuous series there are limits like 10 to 20 20 to 30 suppose it is 40 to 50 here 40 is the lower limit and the 50 is the upper limit this is about class limits next is class interval the difference between upper and lower limit is a class interval so in this continuous series if it is 40 to 50 the difference between them that is 50 minus 40 is equal to 10 this 10 is nothing but the class interval Next is about the class frequency. This is nothing but the number of observations corresponding to a particular class is known as class frequency. For example, the marks and the number of students. Here the marks is from 0 to 10. 10 to 20 and 20 to 30 okay suppose the number of student is 10 20 15 here the number of students is nothing but the class frequency now 0 to 10 10 to 20 20 30 that is the marks is nothing but the continuous variable. Fourth one is class midpoint. It is a mid value of the class. Formula to find out the mid value is mid value is equal to upper limit of the class plus lower limit of the class divided by 2. For example, if the continuous series is 20 to 30, here the upper limit is 30 and the lower limit is 20 divided by 2 that is 50 by 2 is equal to 25 is a class midpoint. Till now we understood the various terms in continuous series. Now let us discuss about two types of continuous series. They are exclusive method and the inclusive method. First let us look on the exclusive method. Here the upper limit in the first class will be the lower limit of its next class. As we all know this is a continuous variable. But how to identify whether it is a inclusive or exclusive? Simple. Here the upper limit of the first class that is 10 is a lower limit of the next class. 
clear the upper limit of the first class is the lower limit of the second see here likewise second variable that is upper limit is 20 and its lower limit of the third variable is also 20 clear this is a exclusive method so here it is a continuous series given this is nothing but the frequency given next is about the inclusive series here the upper limit of a class is included in that class itself see here 10 to 19 20 to 29 okay here the student whose marks is 19 is included in the same class that is 10 to 19 likewise a student whose marks is 29 is included in the same class that is 20 to 29 and this is a frequency given next is conversion of inclusive series into exclusive to solve the inclusive series you must convert it to exclusive first and then solve it now how to convert this inclusive series to exclusive here the example is given which is a inclusive one okay now you have to convert into a exclusive therefore there is one formula correction factor is equal to lower limit of second class minus upper limit of first class divided by 2 that is lower limit of the second class is 20 and the upper limit of first class is 19 1 by 2 that is 0 0.5 therefore this 0 0.5 should be deducted from all the lower limits and be added to the all the upper limits therefore convert this to exclusive first that is it will be first one is 10 to 19 it will be 9.5 to 19.5 second one 19.5 to 29.5 third one 29.5 to 39.5 and 39.5 to 49.5 and the last one is 49.5 to 59.5 now it is exclusive type so what we have done here from the lower limit okay 0 0.5 should be deducted and to the upper limit you have to add 0 0.5 the frequency will remain the same next it is less than series here the series are given lesser than 10 20 30 40 50 and 60 here the frequencies are given now how to convert this into a continuous series that is nothing but less than 10 means should be less than 10 so you have to start from 0 to 10 because see the difference here 10 and 20 only 10 difference there are therefore 0 to 10 10 to 20 it shouldn't be more than the upper limit next is 20 to 30 30 to 40 40 to 50 and 50 to 60 now it is a continuous series next is about the more than series see the difference only 10 difference there are therefore more than series means more than 10 it should be 10 to 20 20 to 30 30 to 40 40 to 50 50 to 60 60 
30 to 40, 40 to 50 and the last one is 50 to 60. And the number of students is nothing but the frequency, it will remain the same. In this session, you understood the basic terms and concepts.